Killer whales could be learning to attack small boats. Now to the writhing killer whale attack. Three killer whales struck the rudder inside of the sailboat. The group of whales of killer whales is when a group of killer whales started battering their boats. The orcas continuing the barrage. The boat skipper filming the encounter. You see the whale pulling back from the 48-foot catamaran, having ripped off the rudder with its teeth. A group of orcas, better known as killer whales, they appear to be attacking and even sinking some boats off the coasts of Portugal and Spain. The question this morning, why? Because they don't want you up there. Take a fucking hint. We humans are doing our shitty best to destroy the planet. We flatten the rainforests. Colombia, Peru, Paraguay, Bolivia. We can go anywhere and see actual forest being cleared. It usually starts with logging. cleared and burned. They then replace it with soybeans, rubber, pasture for cattle. But one of the big drivers is palm oil. Palm oil is like a magical fruit. We all have palm oil in our houses right now. It's found in almost every good you can think about. It's in soaps, it's in shampoo, it's in chocolate, it's in bread, it's even in crisps. What we're doing accidentally and inadvertently is actually causing deforestation in other countries because of our demand for this product. He was shot 62 times. Two in one eye, one in the other. So he's completely blind and we'll never be able to release him to the wild again. He'll never be free. That means the natural system is not working. The habitats are disappearing. But also when these high carbon stock forests that are centuries old are cleared and burned, CO2 is added to the atmosphere. Those emissions go up and warm the planet. When you look at our maps, our results are showing that it's a, it's it's accelerating. It almost looks like a contagion. You know, it looks like a, a disease across the planet. I mean, the, the, the ever increasing pattern. If we continue this level of deforestation, we'll take it all. Boom! There goes the forest. And our ability to mitigate climate change and turn the story around becomes really vanishingly small. We've bleached the Great Barrier Reef. Australia's Great Barrier Reef has experienced another mass bleaching event. Bad news in itself, but unusually this bleaching happened during a typically cooler La Nina weather conditions. Aerial surveys examined more than 700 individual reefs and found 91% exhibited some kind of bleaching. And we're about three rhinos away from killing the rhinos. They are completely extinct in the wild. There are now only three left in captivity. Sudan, and two females. But we do have one great ecological success story to our name. We have created super gonorrhea. Fox on Health News, the US now has its first case of super gonorrhea, and experts say the sexually transmitted strain appears to be resistant to five classes of antibiotics. We've thereby ourselves a whole new strain of antibiotic resistant living fuck juice. <laughs> For that, we should be proud. <laughs> Together we have created something that refuses to die. In a landscape of unremitting horror and destruction, we have fucked hope into a dying world. <laughs> Super gonorrhea will be the one enduring legacy of human civilization. It will be our Sistine Chapel, our King Lear. But we can't be complacent. We must ensure our precious creation will survive the coming nuclear holocaust. It is our duty to transfer antibiotic-resistant gonorrhea to cockroaches. <laughs> this is how we must spend our last days on Earth, having unprotected sex with cockroaches. <laughs> Before the bombs start falling, we must fuck our cultural legacy into those hardy insectoid time capsules. <laughs> Even now, I'm speaking to you with a live cockroach sellotaped to the tip of my cock. <laughs> is the right thing to do. <laughs> this is the circle of life. <laughs>
Hakuna Matata.